It's a placement for Instagram? No, I feel directly responsible for this. This is fun. I don't know. I could see little girls like doing little photo shoots with this. Oh, what is this? Influencer Princess Playset. No. Influencer Princess Playset. Wow. It's a playset for Instagram? No. Oh, man. What? Is this real or is this, this a parody? This is not real. There's no way. Facebook, YouTube. Oh no. I feel directly responsible for this. Oh. Was that a chainsaw? Yeah, okay. It's not real. Yeah. She had a chainsaw. What? Okay, the internet's no, gone too no. far. Must have. Hashtag sponsored. Kids are learning about the sponsored hashtag. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Is that real? What? The children, we really messed up. I regret everything myself and my friends have done over the past 10 years. Is that I, real? I apologize. It seems inevitable, right? You know, like those Tonka trucks, like people, you know, like kids see like construction workers and they're mm -hmm. like, I want to drive a construction truck. And kids see, I guess, Instagram influencers, and they want to be Instagram influencers. It's incredibly problematic, but also so cool that at least influencers are relevant enough to be made into a princess set, but I don't like it. It makes sense, because there's, like, professional athletes, you can get stuff like their jerseys and stuff. Yeah, but a little six-year-old holding hashtag sponsor, there's, like, something wrong with that. <laughs> so that was a commercial for the Influencer Princess playset. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Is, is that a real thing? Is this a real toy? I want it to be fake, but I think it would make sense. Well, first things first, do you think it's real? Oh, I think the video is real. Oh, I thought it was, I for sure thought it was real. I really hope it's not real. I, I mean, it really could be a real commercial. It definitely could be real. I don't know. I, the, the hashtag sponsored at the end yeah. made me think it wasn't real. I think it's real. It seemed like a parody to me. You did? Es like, especially the hashtag sponsor. I want it to be fake, but I think it's real. I think it, the chainsaw is making me think it's It throws fake. you off? Yeah. I felt like it was an SNL skit when yeah. she whipped out that chainsaw. Yes. Like I was like, what the, what? Real. I think it's real. It's over the top, but it's just. Realistic enough? Just realistic enough to be a real thing. Yeah. I would have heard about it if it was real, I think. Mm, I, I don't know, I can't tell. I don't think so though. I don't think Please. it's like necessarily like a bad thing. I just think it's. Shocking. That's all. Like to see how far the internet has come. What do you think about the world we live in, where kids do strive to be YouTubers? It kind of kills me that like they 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 grab they pick up on the hashtag sponsored thing. That's when that's what made me really desperately hope that this is parody and not real. People want to be famous. Yeah, so and so it? this is the new way to be famous. Yeah. It's just weird to see where YouTube has like come because you know when it was starting there was like the top five creators that were like that had like a million subscribers and now there's so many and so many like opportunities to like YouTubers have movies now. Now play sets if it's yeah, real. Yeah, play sets. <laughs> <laughs> I like that social media is becoming something that anyone can do, anyone can pursue, especially if you have a love for it. But I think that's, that's the key. It's not about the likes, it's not about the subscribers. Like you have to really love it. It's not easy. In all forms of entertainment, if you know what you want to do and there's something beyond just people looking at you, then great. The idea of just, I want to be famous, and yeah. like that's, that's always had a kind of disgusting thing for me. People like you who got into the space did things that they <laughs> loved and they were genuinely passionate about and that's what comes, be that's like the reason for it. Yeah. But if there's no reason and you just want to be famous, then you're just grabbing a chainsaw for the clickbait. You should try to aspire to do something great. And if you use a social media platform to do that, by all means, you know, create that's, your voice. Ooh, that's good. I think striving to be an influencer is risky because then your value, you're just mm. looking to be someone who is popular. If you aspire to do something great, like what you said, and it builds a following, you know, then I think that's something different. Well, the commercial is actually fake. Oh, oh good. Okay. Uh. Okay, I know. You. Knew it. Good. <laughs> you knew it. I'm so happy. Oh, thank God. Okay. Thank Are they making God. fun of Americans? Is that what it is? Is it? Oh. Dang it. I felt uh, I felt it. I would buy it. The video was released on a German comedy channel, Bohemian Browser Ballet, part of Germany's funk network who makes a lot of sketch comedy. Okay. Okay. It looked like a real commercial until the chainsaw. 
I didn't get that part. I just 100% you know, thought it was real. I mean, I thought we were there as a people. It looked like an actual ad, but also like an SNL digital short. Yeah. So like, yeah, it kind of makes sense. It was on a sketch comedy show. Why do you think this was something that they decided to make? I have no idea. Obviously they wanted to make fun, it seems, you of social think? media. It seemed more like a parody, yeah. Just like a parody of what we do and how kids see us. It's probably to like showcase like how messed up this generation could be in like a couple years. They probably knew it would get a lot of attention. I don't think it's far-fetched though. I think no. that could very possibly happen in the future. I just read a study that one of the top professions that kids want to be are YouTubers. Yeah. So the fact I mean, I could they I could see them making a Barbie YouTuber. It's relatable. I think they decided to make it because probably they're, they see their kids like trying to emulate what they see online. And yeah, one hundred percent. Like the, the like little kids want to do it so much so that there are there are schools that when they have days where you dress up like what you want to be when you grow up, they've specific certain schools have said do not dress up like YouTubers <gasps> because I it know. is it is a. It is a far-reaching dream and you should focus on other jobs. They did this, if it's a comedy company, very intentionally with this as the satire and probably having a poke of fun at this culture that we're living in and the environment where everyone is so obsessed with being an influencer or being relevant. This is what's happening to our world. I mean, yeah. people's value is based on likes and views and subscribers and being noticed. So I think that that's, I mean, yeah, I, I, would, I would assume it's real. And let's pretend for a second that the playset was real. Do you think that you would ever let your own kids have one and want your kids to aspire to be an online star like you've become? Uh, I wouldn't mind if my kid wanted to be a social media star. I would just try to use my experience to lead them in the right way to do it. This toy, I would say no, just because it is kind of messed up, but like cameras and filming yeah. and stuff like that, I think is like totally okay. Nurturing your kids' interests is always cool, but I would probably like purchase them a camera or something. I personally think it's cute. Uh, there's nothing, I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah. No. I, I wouldn't have a problem with it. It's just, it'd be like, Still surprising though. I you would know? say it's better than giving them an actual phone when they're like really young. If my kid wanted to be a YouTuber, I would say, okay, let me help you navigate this. When you have a little kid, they're like, wait, I wrote a play, let me show mm -hmm. you. They want you to watch them on the stage like it's a play, mm -hmm. and this is the way, this is their version of that. I don't see anything wrong with it necessarily. Has there ever been like a like Hollywood starlet Barbie? Yeah. Ever. Like, I mean, I think it's like a similar, like, you get that and you like play out a fantasy that you mm -hmm. are like on a red carpet or something. And it's a little bit different because it's YouTube, but like otherwise I think the idea is pretty much the same. No. Oh God. It's just too much that I feel like I would want to keep my kids away from that scene. It's a little scary. We don't know where this is going. Yeah. Psychologically speaking. Yeah. No, I, d I wouldn't get this to my kid. No. I, I mean, because I want I want to teach people to live in the moment, not mm -hmm. not live in a future moment that they want other people to see. If you're encouraging people to just be an influencer, where are they getting their substance from? No, no, I, not at all. A lot of the worst things we're seeing now are just kids that came up with like no parental guidance whatsoever, which is understandable because it's so alien to most of us who came up. Like, it's just a very weird concept. I'm scared because our, our son is so, like, we watch YouTube together, it's like a family thing. He's on YouTube. Yeah, he's on YouTube uh, as, as part of like a channel. But, and, it, and I get creeped out when he starts talking like he's in a video. Yeah, uh, like, like he'll start opening a present and he'll be like, okay guys, this is what we're gonna do. So in his own mind, he probably is already. Well, finally the product is not real, but the FBE team has a surprise for you. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Did you make one? Are you ready to play with a replica influencer set? Perfect. You made one? Wow. <laughs> you know though, this isn't too far off to events they have in the entertainment industry. This is just like a photo this is booth. This just a photo booth. This is cute. I don't mind it as much as I thought I did. Florex! Oh! Hashtag sponsored. You like my photo? Oh yeah, hold on, let me go. Uh, yeah. This is sponsored, so let's just put it right there. What do you think it's sponsored by? Um, uh, Tide. Could I be like a boomerang? I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Lazy Hashtag potato? Me. Yeah, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> You gotta do this. The hashtag heart dose sexuals. Yeah. Gotta rep, gotta rep. I'm having so much fun. Maybe they should make this. This looks really great. Three, two, one. Nice, nice pucker face. Is she proposing? This is fun because it's like a photo prop, like a photo booth. 
that's harmless. This is fun. I don't know. I could see little girls like doing little photo shoots with this and I mean, in reality, like we already do this. I'll be like every every guy that's Aww, trying to get cute. points. I'm like, oh, it's Woman Crush Wednesday. Here's my wife. She's a princess. Yeah. I love her. Woman Crush Wednesday. <sighs> Boom. You're getting lucky tonight. Thanks for watching this episode of YouTube Couples React. Subscribe to everyone in this episode. The links are in the description. Love, Love your faces. faces. Hey guys, we're Tui and Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. And thank you to all the YouTubers that came out to play with us in today's episode. And big shout outs to users Kellen Hamrick, Jeremy W, and Gabin, who watched last week. Bye guys.